but people hate cockroaches because they're a little bit icky, you know, they touch you with their antenna, it's kind of gross. But because they're so quick, because they can climb so well, that information can help you build a robot that is fast and can climb well. That's exactly what we're looking for, uh, how they can go everywhere and move through almost any environment. Try it again. So to start with the, with the study, we, we took the cockroaches and we put them in a little test arena and they ran across the obstacle very quickly. We studied them traversing both a large gap and a large bump obstacle and then we used high speed videos to observe how they interact with the obstacles to eventually traverse. What we found is that if they can run fast enough and if they have appropriate body pose, they would be able to pitch up and then very quickly transition into a dynamic climbing. So once we did the animal study, we, we moved to our robot study. This Rex robot which we are using is basically modeled after cockroach so that it's dynamically stable. We ran it towards the same obstacles that the, the cockroach crossed. And what we found was this pitching the body upwards was pretty important. So we added a, we call it an active tail to the robot. So that the tail swings back, the robot is also pitches up. Once we implement this new control strategy, the robot can actually traverse an obstacle that is about 50% greater than its body size. So you know, the more we know about traversing these obstacles, the better robots will become in the future. So we have the cockroach to thank for these advancements in robotics.